What's up guys and gals, Sanitary103. In today's quick video, I'm gonna go over two essential tips on how to try to correct muscle imbalances. Before I go over these tips, uh, I wanna briefly talk about muscle imbalances. So what exactly are they? Basically, when you lift weights and you work out for a long period of time, there's a good chance that you may have and notice in the mirror some imbalances, such as your right pec being a little bit bigger in appearance than your left, for example, or your right bicep having a little bit more peak than your left. Now, it's near impossible to have a completely 100% symmetrical body, even like your abs, sometimes they're a little bit more crooked and you can't correct this, but this doesn't mean that you can't tweak a few things to uh, make your body as symmetrical as possible. So with that being said, let's go over these two tips. So the first tip, I'm gonna be using a barbell. And so, as an example, so let's say your left you know, bicep is a little bit smaller than your right bicep. So this is a regular standard barbell. As you curl up, what you wanna do is you wanna make a muscle to mind connection. You wanna consciously think about your left bicep and as you curl up slowly, make a conscious effort to put emphasis on your left uh, bicep, if that's your weaker bicep. So you go down and up, okay? You just make that muscle to mind connection. You want to be conscientious of your left bicep. Now this doesn't mean to go ahead and go like this or to overcompensate and be stupid and go, go like this, right? It just means to have good form, go down, but have a conscious effort into stimulating your left bicep. If you're going down and you're going back up and you don't feel your left bicep, that means that you need to make a conscious effort and that should be an alert to you in your head that you need to focus especially on your left bicep in this case if your left bicep is smaller than your right. Moving on to tip number two to help correct these muscle imbalances, we're going to be uh, using standard dumbbell right here. So let's say this time your right bicep is the smaller bicep, you want to do extra work on the side that you basically have an imbalance that's weaker. So in this case let's say it's the right bicep and you want to do unilateral work, meaning unilateral, which means just one side as opposed to bilateral. So let's say you start your workout, you know, you're, you're hitting your curls, right? You do three sets of eight, and then you usually do three sets of eight on this side. After the workout, you want to perform some extra sets with the side that's weaker. So you just want to perform a couple of extra ones, and that's definitely going to help you get a little bit more um, balance in your biceps. That's about it for this video. Hopefully that was useful. So make sure in a nutshell, for one, make sure you make that muscle of mind connection, whatever you're doing, if it's barbells, dumbbells, um, even like bench press, you wanna make that connection and make sure you're activating and stimulating both sides of uh, your muscle, but especially the side that you're lagging. And then the second one, you gotta make sure to perform extra sets of unilateral work on the lagging body part. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This one's probably gonna take longer because it's thicker. I'm gonna get the, uh, these uh, chicken uh, breasts to internal temperature about 160, so I'll keep a close eye on that.